Hey everybody, Happy New Year. I'm gonna try to do this grocery haul. And there might be a lot of stopping and starting because the person upstairs is hammering. So, let's get this grocery haul started. So the first items I have here are three bags of 2% milk. And each bag was $4.49. The next item is the peeled garlic. What brand? It doesn't say a brand. Let's see what it says on the app. The app says that, oh yeah, it just says peeled garlic. Anyway, this container of peeled garlic was $3.97. Now, what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag and place it in the freezer. I purchased two bunches of broccoli and each bunch was two dollars and forty seven cents. The next item is Great Value brand ketchup. It's one liter and this ketchup cost a dollar ninety seven. We have been out of ketchup since we moved on December 19th and a family member was going to pick it up a couple of days ago and I said oh, just hold off I've put it in a grocery order. The Hellman's brand mayonnaise cost four dollars and 47 cents and it is 890 milliliters. The next item is this pesto. Don't ask me to pronounce the first word but Paese mio pesto, Italian basil sauce, 212 ml, and that cost $2.77. The next item on the list is the Oral-B dental floss. So it's called Essential Floss, and this dental floss costs $2 and 24 cents and the total length of this is 50 meters. Tristella traditional feta cheese. It weighs 200 grams and this container of Tristella feta cheese cost me five dollars and 47 cents. Now what I use this for is my salads. Sometimes I get the apatina where the feta cheese is already chopped up. Sometimes what I do is I purchase this, it comes in a circle, and I just cut it into wedges, and I place the wedge in my salad. So that's how I use this Tristella traditional feta. One package of arugula cost $3.47, and this package weighs 142 grams. Again, I will use this for my lunches. Next are two packages of McCain sweet potato crinkle cut fries. So these packages were $3.17 each. I haven't had sweet potato fries in a long time and I can't wait to put these in the oven and have some. Okay, these beef stir fry strips are Angus beef, grade AAA, and they were a total of $9.91. Four bananas cost 88 cents, and the price was $1.21 a kilogram. This package of sesame seeds cost $1.97, and it totals to 145 grams. So earlier this week, I went to the dollar store to buy a couple of things, and one of the items I went to buy was parchment paper. I brought it home and realized I had picked up wax paper. Now, I blame it on the fact that it was the French side of the package that was displayed and truly it was and I just grabbed it 
you know, just because I live in Canada and learned French all throughout elementary school doesn't mean I speak it. <laughs> anyway, I ended up ordering these. I could have gotten one package of parchment paper, but I really like the size of this because it's more conducive to my pans. What's interesting about this packaging, it quotes both uh, metric and imperial. So it is 30.5 centimeter by 24.4 meters. And that amounts to 12 by 80. Whatever it is, I purchased three. And these three packages were $10 even. So this was one of the substitutions. I had ordered the 1.9 liter bottle of GT's kombucha. And it seems lately Walmart hasn't had this. So he substituted it with two of these bottles. And these bottles of Ginger Aid, GT Kombucha Ginger Aid, were $3.77 each. Oh, I'm getting a call. I need to answer it. Okay, so this is the Aussie uh, Three Minute Miracle Moist Deep Conditioner with Avocado. I had ordered their version that also had jojoba in it, but this is a substitution because they had none of that left. And this was $5.47, 475 ml. I purchased some Jello, and I purchased three packages of the lime because I love lime, and two packages of the orange. These were 97 cents a piece. This two liter bottle of Canada Dry Ginger Ale was $1.97. A package of eight 200 ml apple juice packages. This package of eight was $2.47. Well, I hope you enjoyed my haul today. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Let me know, did I pay too much? Are these prices comparable to where you live? Thanks for watching.